Astronomy vs. Astrology You have probably heard about the concepts of astronomy and astrology, but have you ever wondered what the differences or similarities are or where did these concepts come from? To answer these questions, we need to know what astronomy and astrology exactly are. First, let's explain what astrology is. Astrology is the study of movements of stars to predict a person's personality and the significant events in their lives based on the position of the star. Astrology is one of the oldest fields of study. Almost every culture has its own astrology, but they share one common thing, which is predicting the events and personalities. Astrology includes many fields like numerology, Kabbalah, astronomy, and many others. We use a lot of geometry in astrology to predict the position of the star and astrologers trust that the positions of the stars affect events that happen on earth. On the other hand, astronomy is the study of stars, galaxies, planets, nebulas, asteroids, comets, black holes, basically everything in the universe. Astronomers fall into two fields observational astronomers and theoretical astronomers. Observational astronomers focus on direct study of stars, planets, galaxies and other astronomical objects. They use telescopes to observe the night sky, like the Hubble Space Telescope. Theoretical astronomers model and analyze how systems may have evolved. Astronomy includes many other fields of science, like astrophysics, nuclear physics, cosmology, chemistry and many others. In addition, astronomy uses a lot of complex math to describe the universe. For example, the description of the Big Bang theory is in the mathematical language of physics. We know that the Big Bang happened because it is supported by many experiments like astronomical observations and particle colliders. This leads us to another major difference between astronomy and astrology, which is Astronomy is based on scientific evidence and observations to describe the astronomical objects like the formation of galaxies. For example, Einstein's general relativity has been proven over and over again. It has been proven by a vast number of experiments and observations like clocks on FPS satellites, the discovery of gravitational waves, and many many others. At the meantime, science is in constant development. It often changes and gets more accurate. For example, Einstein's static universe was disproved by Edwin Hubble by proving that the universe is expanding. Astronomy is mostly based on theories. The theories are proven and explained why they happened. It is accurate and it predicts things, but the theories sometimes need improvements to be more accurate. However, astrology throughout most of its history was considered as an academic field. It was called into questions in the scientific revolution in the 18th century. Astrology has been shown to have no scientific validity theoretically and experimentally, thus it lost its academic. This means that for any concept to be accepted, it needs to be supported by observational evidence and this evidence needs to be achieved by careful experimentations. Astrologers don't usually try to seriously decide whether those explanations are valid or not. Understandingscience.com explains, Astrologers do not carefully examine the astrological ideas they accept. As reflected by the minimal level of research in the field, they rarely try to test their arguments in fair ways. In addition, astrological community largely ignores evidence that contradicts its ideas. Astrology turns out to be not true all the time. For example, some forms of astrology predict that a person born just after the spring equinox is particularly likely to become an entrepreneur, which haven't happened in most cases. Therefore, many people no longer believe in astrology, and many of them see astrology as a myth. On the other hand, astronomy and astrology both originated from the ancient world. In the ancient world, most cultures did not make a clear contrast between the astronomers and astrologers. They put these two roles as one. 
the ancient Babylonia, which are famed for its astrology, did not have separated roles for the astronomers as predictor of the heavenly bodies and the astrologers as translator of the heavenly bodies. Both roles were performed by the same person. Astronomy and astrology are the oldest of natural sciences with its origins in the religious, mythological and cosmological beliefs. In some cultures, astronomical data was used to predict the future. All functions was rolled by the same person. The data were collected by direct observations of the night sky.